அப்ப எதிர்கட்சிகள் வந்து ஒண்ணும் பெரிய அளவில் ஒண்ணும் நடக்கல ஆனா இப்ப வந்து அவருடைய இந்த ஆளும் கட்சியே இருக்கிறப்பவே ஆளும் கூட்டணியிலேயே அவர்கள் இருக்கும் பொழுதே பல விஷயங்கள் நடந்துகிட்டு இருக்கு இதோடைய பொலிட்டிக்கல் பின்னணி எதை பத்தி நாம பேச போறது ஆனா முக்கியமாக பேச போறது சிபிஐனா என்ன இப்ப சிபிஐங்கிறதோடைய பேர் வந்து ரொம்ப பெரிய அளவில் நமக்கு தெரிய வருது இந்த சிபிஐ எப்படி இந்த மாதிரியான ஒரு வழக்கு எடுத்து டீல் பண்ண போறாங்க அது தொடர்பாக உள்ள இருந்து வேற சில எக்கனாமிக் கேசஸ் மட்டும் இது வந்து ஒரு கொலை கேஸ் கிடையாது ஆனா அதுல ஒரு கொலை எலிமெண்ட் கூட ஏதோ ஒரு லேசா வருது ஒரு கட்டத்துல தற்கொலையா கொலையான்னு சாதிக் பாட்சா பத்தி அதை பற்றி நிச்சயமாக ரகோத்தமன் பேசுவார் ஆனா எக்கனாமிக் அஃபென்சஸ் பலவற்றை கூட அவர் வந்து இதற்கு முன்னாடி இன்வெஸ்டிகேட் பண்ணிருக்காரு சோ அந்த ஆங்கில இருந்து இந்த கேஸ் எப்படி பீஸ் பண்றாங்க ஒரு இன்வெஸ்டிகேட்டிவ் ஏஜென்சி கட்டாயமாக இந்தியாவுடைய ஒரு பிரீமியர் இன்வெஸ்டிகேட்டிவ் ஏஜென்சி சிபிஐ உலகத்துல அதுக்கு ஒரு பெரிய மதிப்பு இருக்கு அவர்கள் எப்படி இந்த காரியத்தை செய்யறாங்க அது தொடர்பான பல விஷயங்கள் பிளஸ் கேள்வி பதில் ரொம்ப பிராங்கா பேசக்கூடியவர் தொலைக்காட்சி நிகழ்ச்சிகளிலேயே அவர் வந்து ராஜீவ்காந்தி கொலை வழக்கு பத்தி ஜீல வந்தது டூ பார்க் எபிசோட் பல செய்தி நிறுவனங்களிலும் அவர் பேட்டியிலையும் அவர் வந்து ரொம்ப வெளிப்படையாக பேசக்கூடியவர் அதனால நம்ம நிச்சயமாக அவர் பேசி முடிச்சதுக்கு பிறகு கொஸ்டின் ஆன்சர் செஷன்ல நம்ம நிறைய தெரிஞ்சுக்கிறதுக்கு இருக்கு அதனால உங்க கேள்விகள் எல்லாத்தையும் சேர்த்து வைத்துக் கொள்ளுங்க அவர் பேசி முடிக்கும் நடுவுலேயே ரொம்ப முக்கியமான கேள்வியா இருந்தா கேட்கலாம் இல்லையா சார் உடனே கேளுங்க ஸோ ரொம்ப இன்ட்ராக்டிவா நம்ம அதிகபட்சமாக விவரம் தெரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும்ங்கிற மாதிரியான ஒரு ஆர்வத்துல இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியை சார் அவர் சொன்ன என் டாக்டர் ஒரு டென்டிஸ்ட் அவள் வந்து ஏதோ பேப்பரில் படித்து இந்த இன்டர்நெட்டில் டவுன்லோட் பண்ணி நியூ வரி சாங் பப்ளிஷர்ஸ் அப்புறம் நிறைய புக்கு போடுறாங்க நிறைய இது சின்ன குழந்தைங்களுக்கு ப்ளஸ் நிறைய ட்ரேட் பண்ணுறாங்க போட்டு ஷீ வாஸ் ரைட்டிங் இன் ஃபெமினா அந்த ஒரு இங்கிலீஷ் நாவலுக்கு டென்டிஸ்ட் அவர் டென்டிஸ்டை பற்றி எழுதணும் அதை பற்றி அவள் வச்சு அவங்களுக்கு கதை எழுதியிருந்தா அதை பப்ளிஷ் பண்ணணும்ப்பா அப்படின்ட்டு ராகவன்ஸ்ட்ரீஸ்வாரு <laughs> But anyway, they told me that uh, we were looking to your case and we could do it. And Dr. Silpi, no, no, we were sent back. Then uh, I had a call from one of my friends. He was a friend. 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 Okay, let him come and do it. I came and discussed with him. I am the team members and all the things. From then onwards, I am almost a member of their family. Now, the English book is also being published, and it is under, uh, almost on the stage. Other than that, it was the main war of Arnon in Nore Havar. And that is the uh, anniversary day. So, the people will remember. Otherwise, in uh, all the days, we will forget it easily. But we will forget it easily. So, anyway, now, as Mr. Badari has told, we will start with uh, how the CBA came into CBA in Nainna. அது எப்படி இந்த இந்தியா இந்திய நாட்டுக்குள்ளார வந்தது அது எப்படி ஃபார்ம் எடுத்தது அப்படின்றத பற்றி ஏன்னா நான் நைன்டீன் சிக்ஸ்டி எயிட்டில் இருந்து இந்த டிபார்ட்மெண்ட்டில் ஜாயின் பண்ணேன் ஆஸ் அ சப் இன்ஸ்பெக்டர் ஆஃப் போலீஸ் ஐ ரோட் ஃபார் ஐபிஎஸ் ஐ டிட் நாட் கேட் இட் தென் தேர் வாஸ் அ கால் ஃப்ரம் யூபிஎஸ்சி அட் த டைம் தேர் தேர் இஸ் நோ டேரக்ட் ஐ மீன் அப்படி இது கிடையாது ஒன்று ஆர் யூ இன்ட்ரெஸ்டட் இன் ஜாயினிங் சப் இன்ஸ்பெக்டர் ஆஃப் போலீஸ் இன் சிபிஐ அப்படின்னு ஐ வாஸ் டூயிங் ரிசர்ச் இன் பெட்டாஸ் யூனிவர்சிட்டி எக்கனாமிக் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் அப்போ ப்ரொஃபஸர் பெரிய காரல் மார்க்ஸ் முறையாக இருப்பார் சண்முக சுந்தரம் அவர் பார்த்துட்டு வேண்டாம் இந்த வேலையெல்லாம் அவங்க டீச்சர் வேலையெல்லாம் ஒத்து வராது நீ போடாங்க இது நல்லா சிபிஐனா நல்ல ஆர்கனைசேஷன் சொல்லிட்டு தென் நீ எக்கரேஜ் பண்ணி அண்ட் செலக்டட் த ஹோல் ஆஃப் சவுத் இந்தியாவில் வந்து ரெண்டே பேர் 
நான் இன்னொரு பிரைம் மினிஸ்டர் பேர் ரெண்டு பேர் தான் செலக்ட் பண்ணோம் அது மொத்தம் இருபத்தோரு பேர் ஆல் ஓவர் இந்தியா பதினோரு பேர் அப்புறம் பீகார் அப்போ யார் டேரக்ட் பண்ணால் நம்ம எஃபி அரு அவரே ரெண்டு தான் போய் ரிப்போர்ட் பண்ணணும் இங்கே டெல்லியில் அப்போ கேட்டார் ஹோமனி பீப்புளாக இருக்கிறோம் சவுத் அப்படின்னாரு நாங்கள் ரெண்டு பேரும் வந்தோம் அவங்களையும் இருக்கிறோம் தமிழ்நாடு அப்படின்னா அப்போ தமிழ்நாடு கிடையாது மெட்ராஸ் ஸ்டேட்னு சொல்லுவாங்க நான் மெட்ராஸ் ஸ்டேட் அப்படின்னோடனே டூ ஒன்று ஆனால் <laughs> நம்ம நம்ம இங்கிலீஷ் கேட்க ஆல்ரெடி மெட்ராஸ் ப்ராவின்ஸு பாம்பே ப்ராவின்ஸு அப்படின்னு சொல்லி ஒவ்வொரு ப்ராவின்ஸுக்கும் ஒரு சீஃப் மினிஸ்டரு ஒரு இது நோக்கு இது பண்ணியிருக்காங்க ஆல்ரெடி தே ஸ்டார்ட் டிசம்பிளேட்டிங் த பவர் ஸோ நைன்டீன் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ்க்கு அப்புறம் வார் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட்டில் தெர் வாஸ் அ லாட் ஆஃப் கம்ப்ளைண்ட் தட் தி ஆஃபீஸர்ஸ் ஆஃப் மில்ட்ரி டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் அந்த வார் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஸ் வெல் அஸ் சம் கொடுக்கிட்டு த கான்ட்ராக்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் தே ஹாவ் சுண்டில் தி பனி quite a lot of money instead of spending on the war nariya bana appe bobo sundukku so 1946 le so bobo adha pola oru mooda nadandha vane then that that then that government thought no oh, it should be the special police should be formed to enquire into this abhi note delhi special police establishment act 1946 adha than first enact panna act adha enact panitte adha oru bsb ஸ்பெஷல் எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ்மெண்ட்டே பிஎஸ்பின்னே பிரான்ச் அந்த பிரான்ச் அந்த பிரான்ச் பேரே ஸ்பெஷல் போலீஸ் எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ்மெண்ட் அப்படின்னு ஒன்று உருவாக்கி த ஹெட் குவார்ட்டர் வாஸ் அ லாபு இட் இஸ் நாட் இட் வாஸ் நாட் இன் பிகாஸ் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த வார் வாஸ் வாட் அந்த தேர்ட் ஏரியா ஆல்சோ தே ஹாவ் ஓப்பன் தட் ஒரு ஸ்பெஷல் போலீஸ் எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ்மெண்ட் டு லூக் இன் டு ஆல் த கரப்ஷன் இன் கேசஸ் ஆஃப் வார் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் அண்ட் தட் வாஸ் அண்ட் த வார் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் தட் டைம் ஹோம் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் அதெல்லாம் கிடையாது வார் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் அப்போ இருக்கும்பொழுது அது அப்படியே நைன்டீன் ஃபார்ட்டி செவனில் வி காட் தி இண்டிபெண்டன்ஸ் நைன்டீன் ஃபார்ட்டி செவனில் நம்ம இண்டிபெண்டன்ஸ் வந்த பிறகு கரப்ஷனுக்கு வந்து இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் கொடுத்து நைன்டீன் ஃபார்ட்டி செவன் ப்ரிவென்ஷன் ஆஃப் கரப்ஷன் ஆக்ட் அப்படின்னு நைன்டீன் ஃபார்ட்டி செவனில் நம்ம கவர்மெண்ட் எனக்ட் பண்ணுச்சு எனக்ட் பண்ணி அது எந்த அந்த நைன்டீன் ஃபிஃப்டியில் கான்ஸ்டியூஷன் வந்து ஃபார்ம் ஆகும்போது அங்கே வந்து கான்ஸ்டியூஷன் அத்தாரிட்டி இட் இஸ் It should be a federal state and the center should not control over certain areas, governments. That means that the constitution has three lists. One is the state list, one is the central list, one is the concurrent list. The state list has the power of the entire domain of the state government, which they have to administer. The central list has the power of the central government, the external affairs, defense, postal, private, etc. That is the power of the central government. The central government has the power of the central government, the central government has the power of the இப்போ கன்கரண்ட் ஈஸ்ட் வந்து வந்து போத் ஆஃப் தம் எதர் சென்ட்ரல் கவர்மெண்ட் ஆர் ஸ்டேட் கவர்மெண்ட் கேன் ஹாவ் அ ஜூரி சிக்ஷன் அது தட் இஸ் அ கன்கரண்ட் ஈஸ்ட் பட் இந்த ஸ்டேட் லிஸ்டில் தான் லா அண்ட் ஆர்டர் ஃபிரண்ட்ஸ் இப்போ வந்து ஒரு போலீஸ்காரன் வந்து ஒரு குற்றத்தை கண்டுபிடிக்கணும்னா ஒரு கேஸை ரிஜிஸ்டர் பண்ணி இன்வெஸ்டிகேட் பண்ணணும்னா பட் பிலாங்ஸ் டு கமைன் ஆஃப் ஸ்டேட் கவர்மெண்ட் இட் த சென்ட்ரல் கவர்மெண்ட் ஹேஸ் நோ அத்தாரிட்டி டு வாட்ஸ் ஓவர் டு என்டர் இன் தன்வெஸ்டிகேஷன் ஃபீல்ட் ஆஃப் தி லா அண்ட் ஆர்டர் ப்ராப்ளம் ஆஃப் தி ஸ்டேட் that was the constitutional problem but adik enna pannanga 1947 aarambichu the dsp nadandhu apra it was brought up to the independence from lahore to uh, delhi delhi la headquarters aarambichu appa or understanding sir central government la income tax irukku railways irukku fca irukku adha pola pola organizations irukku so adha gamanikkiradhukku or vigilance department anti corruption naanga pandrom அப்படின்னு விட்டு அதுக்கு வந்து என்ன பண்ணாங்க பட் ஒரு கண்டிஷன் வச்சுட்டாங்க அந்த நைன்டீன் ஃபார்ட்டி சிக்ஸ்லேயே ஒரு கண்டிஷன் இருக்கு அந்த ஆக்டில் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் யுவர் பவர் ஆஃப் இன்வெஸ்டிகேஷன் ஆஃப் பிஎஸ்பி இது டு அதர் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் டெல்லி ஸ்டேட் வாஸ் அந்த டெல்லி கவர்மெண்ட் ஸ்டேட் அவே ஸோ டெல்லி கவர்மெண்ட் ஹேஸ் காட் த பவர் ஆஃப் இன்வெஸ்டிகேட்டிங் பட் இட் மெட்ராஸ் பிரசிடென்சி கல்கட்டா பிரசிடென்சி இதை போல் ஆனவங்க தென் நைன்டீன் ஃபார்ட்டி செவனுக்கு அப்புறம் நிறைய ஸ்டேட் ஆன நைன்டீன் ஃபிஃப்டி சிக்ஸில் நிறைய ஸ்டேட்ஸ் வந்த உடனே ஓ ப்ராப்ளம் வந்து ஏன்னா அதில் வந்து இந்த ஃபார்ட்டி சிக்ஸ்லேயே ஒரு கண்டிஷன் வச்சுட்டோம் சின்ஸ் யூ டு நாட் ஹேவ் த பவர் இட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஸ்டேட் கவர்மெண்ட் 
we also have to have the consent of the state government to investigate. If at all CBI, or I mean uh, DSP wants to investigate any case against anybody, they should have a consent of this concerned the state government of you. Appa, there was no problem because all the state governments were under the control of Congress party. Congress party. There was no any other party which was ruling. So that was sent them and it was all accepted that they all gave the consent. Consent the with only on the DSP Act lay on the case of this record investigation for Naram Stam. Other than 1947 uh, Gulzari Nanda was the Home Minister and uh, he was he was a crusader of uh, against corruption in the public sector, I mean uh, the public good. The party is on a prevention of corruption at the night point of we need a, a separate organization, not DSP. We need an organization like the FBI. Federal Bureau of Investigation Maratha, all over India, or uh investigate one or the organization proper. Aputin is only our Santana number Tamana the Electana MP. Our Talamina, Santana Committee repair of the one man committee, he was uh formed and they he was asked to go through and give a vote. And uh you know what type of organization should be formed. And what type of work they should do it of the interval. Our report the name Central Bureau of Investigation was mine. He was the officer, I mean uh, um, person who gave the name to uh, as CBI, Central Bureau of Investigation to the home. In the in the CBI on the people yell act on the nineteen forty seven corruption act of England. As an implement for the C B with the powerful one. Have been noted on the over uh, customs act of the implement of customs department. Central access act uh, implement on central access. The FEMA, the Ram Kelly particularly, the foreign exchange derogation act, other enforcement on enforcement directly. Other point, now we will strengthen the CBI by giving this power of investigation under the provision of corruption act. Have been noted, on the other hand, it was all accepted. On 1st April 1963, a resolution was passed in the parliament. Not act. Cannot, uh, unless constitution is amended, that the state round order should be brought under the central list. It cannot be straight away enacted by an act. That is the handicap even today the central government is facing. So, at that time itself, they should have done it with all the majority Congress people, they should have got it amended. So many amendments in the constitution has taken place. But uh, this was not at all taken up for various reasons. It all has got a meaning. And uh, like corrupt fellow. They never wanted the CBI to be very powerful, <coughs> legally. So that they will not, uh, they will become independent and uh, it, uh, it will become a problem. And, uh, all politicians start working in a different manner. So there was a sincere attempt not to bring out the act. When Arun became the director, first director was on D.P. Kovin. He was the man, in fact, he gave the, uh, he gave the name to the CBI. And he started functioning as a director. And the first branch in the CBI was the DSP was a part of the uh, branch in the CBI. DSP on the on the designation of the anti-corruption branch. Anti um, anti-corruption branch, ACB or branch of work. Anga CBI first other channel. Income taxes and taxes, all central government undertakings. Slowly, economic offenses will start coming in. Import and export fraud. So that was the major part you must all hear. In the stainless steel on import money longer. Stainless steel import money and the hospital equipment in Sully, other than through another market. So that was all the major items which was going on. So Adi CBK Purgon of the Sully, 1965, they started a being called economic offenses. So these were the only two wings which was the investigation wing arm of the CBI. Upper a director or a giant director or a DIG or JD, every state law over a branch of Mokong Mananda. Upper officers around there, then senior police officers who have served in the state police for a longer time, our other deputation at home, our own reputation at Pati, Tarawa, which had become a Rikamatanda. So the quality of the officers who came in. See, now, even now, Mr. Narasimhanakar, CB Narasimhanakar, he was the first SP of the uh, CBA branch of Matras. And he became the director subsequently also. So, in the we are Lakshmi Narayana, CL Ramakrishna. 
இதை போல ஜம்பவான் சுவாமி தமிழ்நாடு போலீஸ் வந்து டீம் ஆன் டெப்புடேஷன் ஸோ அவங்கெல்லாம் வந்து ரொம்ப கவர் டிஃபென்ஸ் அப்பான் ஹவ் யூ இன்கல்கேட் தி இன்வெஸ்டிகேட்டிங் கல்ச்சர் அதை வந்து மெயின் நம்ம இந்த என்ன பொறுத்த வரையில் த மோல்டிங் இஸ் மோர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் நீ எப்படி ஒரு வேலையை கொடுத்துட்டு நீ எப்படி பண்ணணும் அப்படின்ற ஒன்று மோல்டு பண்ணுறான் பாருங்க ஒருவெஸ்டிகேட்டிங் <laughs> 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 Investigating officer are not clear for it. Yeh importance for that is not. They are the field officers. They know what is exactly on the field level. So, if you have a chair of a decision or whatever, that is different. But uh, this is a corruption angle. I must collect the file. I must scrutinize it. And uh, I must find out where he has considered it. Where he has done it. How do you do the fraud? That's why you have to do it. Imagine what I'm doing. So, they give much importance to the investigating officer. So, that's why இந்த ஒவ்வொரு இதுக்கும் ஒரு ஃபார்ம் அவுட் பண்ணிட்டாங்க இப்போ லோக்கல் போலீஸ் வரட்டும் ஒரு சப்மிட் போட்டோஸ் அண்ட் சார்ஜ்ஷீட் தேர் இஸ் செவரல் செக் இஸ் தேர் தேர் இஸ் செவரல் செக் இஸ் தேர் அவன் வந்து ரிப்போர்ட்டை கொடுக்கணும் அதுக்கப்புறம் அவர் பப்ளிக் ப்ராசஸ் கொடுக்கணும் ஒரு எஃப்ஆர் டூ சொல்லுவார் எஃப்ஆர் ஒன்றுன்றதான் சிபிஐ கொடுக்குற அந்த யூனிவர்சிட்டி ஆஃபீஸரோட ரிப்போர்ட்டு தென் எஃப்ஆர் டூ ஃபைனல் ரிப்போர்ட் பார்ட் டூன்னு ஒரு லீகல் ஆஃபீஸர் கொடுப்பாரு அதை வச்சுட்டு அந்த எஸ்பி ரிப்போர்ட் ஒருத்தர் எழுதுவார் இதை வச்சுட்டு தன் ஜாயிண்ட் டேரக்டர்ட் அப்போ அவர் வந்து எஸ் ஐ பப்ளிக் ப்ராசிக்யூட்டர் ஐஓ எல்லாம் யூனிஃபார்மாக இருக்க வேண்டிய அவசியமே கிடையாது ஒவ்வொருத்தரும் டிஃபர் ஆகலாம் பட் இருந்தால் கூட வேர் தே டிஃபர் அப்படின்னு மேலே இருக்கிறவங்க பார்த்து ஹவு டு ரெக்டிஃபை ஃபர்தர் இன்வெஸ்டிகேஷன் தேவையா அப்படின்னு பார்த்து பண்ண டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் அண்ட் எஸ்பெஷலி ஆஃப்டர் நைன்டீன் சிக்ஸ்டி செவன் யூ ஆல் நோ வென் மிஸ்ஸஸ் காந்தி பார்ட்டட் காங்கிரஸ் இது டூ புரியுதுங்க அவர் வந்து காங்கிரஸ் ஓ காங்கிரஸ் ஐ அப்படின்னு அப்ப நீங்க வந்துட்டு ஒரு ஆயிரம் நூறு ரூபாய்க்கு ட்ராப் பண்ணிருக்கிறோம் பத்து ரூபாய்க்கு ட்ராப் பண்றதுக்கும் ரயில்வே இல்லை ஒரு டிடி வாங்குவோம் பத்து ரூபா உங்களுக்கு சீட் அலாட் பண்றதுக்கு அப்புறம் ஆஃபீஸ்ல போய் ஒரு கிளர்க் வாங்கணும்னா மேக்ஸிமம் ஒரு நூறுரூபா வாங்குவோம் பட் வேற நேஷனல் பப்ளிக் செக்டர் அண்டர் டேக்கிங் புரியுங்க பப்ளிக் செக்டர் அண்டர் டேக்கிங்ஸ் தான் அப்ப ஜாயிண்ட் வெஞ்சர்லாம் கிடையாது ஸ்டேட்டவே பப்ளிக் செக்டர் அண்டர் டேக்கிங் சொல்லி நெய்வேலி பிஹெச்சிஎல் ஐஓசி எஃப்சிஐ அப்படின்ட்டு பல விதமான பப்ளிக் செக்டர் அண்டர் டேக்கிங் ஆல் அண்ட் வித் கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் இந்தியா கண்ட்ரோல் ஸோ த மணி மஸ் பம்ப்டு லைக் எனி திங் டு ஆல் த பப்ளிக் செக்டர் அண்டர் டேக்கிங் அண்ட் தி நேஷனலைஸ்டு பேங்க்ஸ் ஃபார் பீ இன்டிஸ்கிரிமினேட்லி லோன் கிரெடிட் டு எனி பாடி அண்ட் ரைட்டிங் ஆஃப் ஸோ த வால்யூம் ஆஃப் கரப்ஷன் இன்க்ரீஸ் from 1967 onwards on not clear to that clear to that it was only 100 rupees to 2000 rupees maximum but 67 ka padna we came across the fraud of lakh puriyenga ipo now it has crossed the billions as the growth of corruption in india i would rather say to be traced to 1960 is there but the volume of corruption increased to 1967 when uh, nationalization took place when public sector took place ஸோ இந்த இதெல்லாம் பெரிய வந்த பிறகு த எக்கனாமிக் அப்ரன்சஸ் வாஸ் நாட் சர்ப்ரைஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் சிபிஐ ஆன்டி கரப்ஷன் விங் வாஸ் நாட் சர்ப்ரைஸ் ஸோ தே ஹேவ் டு கிரியேட் செவர் அதர் விங் ஆல்சோ த மேஜர் விங் விச் வாஸ் கிரியேட்டட் ஆஃப்டர் அர்ஷத் மெதா செக்யூரிட்டி ஸ்கேன் வாஸ் த பேங்கிங் செக்யூரிட்டி ஃப்ராட் செல் பிஎஸ்எஃப்சி சொல்கிறது சரிங்க த பேங்கிங் செக்யூரிட்டி ஃப்ராட் செல் வந்து எஸ்பெஷலி ஃபார் அர்ஷத் மெதா கேஸ் இட் வாஸ் கிரியேட்டட் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் ஸ்டில் பிகம் ஏ பார்ட் ஆஃப் நவ் செக்யூரிட்டி கேசஸ்லாம் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்காங்க இந்த பேங்கிங் ப்ராடெல்லாம் அவங்ககிட்ட போயிடுது இப்போ ஆன்டி கரப்ஷன் பிரான்ச்சில் வந்து சில கேஸ் பண்ணுவாங்க ஒரு ஃபைவ் லேக்ஸ் இருந்தால் ஆன்டி கரப்ஷன் ஃபைவ் லேக்ஸ் அண்ட் அபவ்னா ஒரு ஸ்பெஷல் யூஓடபிள்யூ பண்ணுவாங்க ஃபைவ் க்ரோஸ் அண்ட் அபவ்னா பிஎஸ்எஃப்சி ஒரு பிரான்ச் பண்ணுவா
So other people have division for it. Economic offenses was also yeah, yeah, in, yeah, in, uh, enhanced by including counterfeit, narcotics, and antics. If antics on the media, they are on a foreign layer to put on the other one, the number of police, the police, the police, local police, if they are not able to do it themselves, they will have it. Other couple and I think the Kerala High Court, they started giving cases to CBA. In the CBA, every case is a disturbance. Nobody can straight away, the public cannot come and give a uh, complaint to the CBI uh, if it is against a state government employee. If it is against a central government employee only or against the public sector undertaking only of central government, the people can directly walk into CBI office and can give a complaint. That will be acted upon. And if he is giving a complaint against the state police, <coughs> state state police officials or private officials uh, like TPS or uh, the private person to put them, uh, we will not entertain We will not directly entertain it and it is not possible also. It is not provided under the DSP Act. That's uh, why the court, uh, the inherent power of the court uh, is there. That is the High Court and Supreme Court. They have the power under Section 4 in CRPC to entrust any investigation to any agencies. And the power is only when you file a public litigation in the High Court regarding the death of uh, some kidnapping of uh, or a famous murder case or the very fraud and other things only. Ma. And the case on the, the uh, director, uh, the direction will come from uh, High Court. Then the CDA will have to uh, register it, not straight away again. They will refer to the state government and they will say, now the High Court has ordered, can I take up the case? They must give a consent. Yes. Yeah. They will give once a high court or Supreme Court has ordered. Almost all the states will have to be. No state has gone against you. So they will give the consent. The once the case is consent is given, then we write to the central government and this is a referred a case from the high court and the state government has given the consent. Now you give me the consent to go ahead. So central government also issues a notification interesting the investigation of the case to CBA. This is how the case is registered in CBA. It is not straight away if you come, but as far as the central government office is concerned, if it is against ITO or any railway officials or any passport officer, anything connected with the central government organization, you can straight away launch it. Other than that, that is a uh, provision. Even you can give a complaint against the Prime Minister to CBI, but we will not act upon it, it will be referred. There is a one provision is there, what is called a single directive. This is the, called the Extra Judicial Act of Activism of Legislation. You know, one of the other people who have for a step up to class on uh, class two level, very you know, in the CBA director has got the power if there is a complaint side of the industry. Sir, class two nine. Other than the classification of the governments around the world, class one, class two, class three, class four. That is the classification. Guru will be a of his own, a non gesture of his own. In the for um, uh, up to or a DSP level or even state police level, uh, up to or or thousand dollar or even there is a it is a class two. The when you become a class three, uh, that uh, collector uh, up to that uh, middle level office and uh, class A and the joint secretaries and above. Joint secretaries and above. If I uh, back level the general managers and above. On the rank on equal on the public sector under the equal to the full term. Along the face scale of children, it is a bone. So those type of cases, the dealers are directly we see your complaint, we will not register. We will refer to the concerned government department. If it is against the chairman of the bank, we will send it to the Ministry of Finance. And the Ministry of Finance will go through the complaint and then they will say, yes, there, there is a primary case is there, we will register. Then only we will register. So that is the protection taken by the joint secretaries in the Now, when Vajpayee government came into the power, they said that, no, because, uh, I mean, Mor Mor Moraji Desai government 1977 came, the single directive was uh, given a go ahead. They said, no, you go ahead, uh, the CBI has got the power, there is no discrimination uh, between uh, uh, registration and go ahead and register. Why they did it? Because they wanted uh, Mrs. Gandhi to be arrested. They wanted Mrs. Gandhi to be arrested when Shaw Commission of Inquiry was instituted 
and uh, that the uh, number of cases were uh, given to the CBI and a special investigation cell was formed only to include the cases of uh, uh, Mrs. Gandhi, uh, Mama, that, uh, Sanjay Gandhi, all the big wigs, secretaries and that So, after all the eight people with the permission of the time of Moraji, as I said, that the single director is dispensed. You, the CBI has got the power, number one. This is the number of the now. When Mrs. Gandhi came into power in 1975, it was in the Ministry of Home Affairs, the CBI. IBL, IBL Krabla, in the Intelligence Bureau Krabla, CBI was under the Ministry of Home Affairs. In 1975, the emergency had come to the program. She took over it in the cabinet secretary from the uh, Ministry of Home Affairs. Directly, she brought under her control, PM office. After that, Kondo under the program, straight away she started uh, giving instructions. And uh, Dhawan was giving instructions, you do this, you do this, or you know, that started uh, the emergency, the Nariya Kada Araspandi. So, Nariya uh, Padisarvan Sala, Araspandi, Araspandi, all the period. So, uh, when uh, Moraji Desa came, he reverted back. He said, uh, it should not be in the PMO office, it will be uh, back to the Home Minister. Charan Singh was the Home Minister. Charan Singh was the Home Minister. So, the entire uh, work was given to the Home Minister. And he did the Home Minister. So the entire work was given to the Home Minister. And he decided to arrest Mrs. Khan. That was the political, that is the first case in 3rd October 1977. We registered a case against Mrs. Gandhi. That is against the Prime Minister of India. Farmer Prime Minister. Prime Minister of India. Farmer. 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 No, the level, what the farmer are present, but the level of registration of case went up to the Prime Minister. So um, that was the um, first period when uh, the power was given to the CBI. And uh, the allegation was, that uh, when she was contesting in Amethi and Rabarelli, both her son and uh, this lady, uh, she caught this, uh, more than about 200 chiefs from various companies for working in their constituency. That was the allegation. And uh, I was also one of the part of the investigation officer at that time. And uh, I'll just narrate about the incident of the arrest, because that is uh, more interesting. And uh, C.V. Narasimhan was the director at the time. And uh, so, Narasi and our VR Rashinarani was our uh, IG at the time. He was the joint director. And uh, this was a special team constituted. And uh, uh, F.C. Sharma, who was the DGP of Tamil Nadu, was the SP there at that time in that special investigation firm. So, in, in, in North Indian used to call it, uh, it is not a special investigation team, it's a South Indian cell. <laughs> because most of the officers were from South India. <laughs> because the, uh, the Charan Singh thought, if they put any North Indian officers, they will leak out the information to Mrs. Gandhi and get away all along them. So let us yeah, give it to the people. South Indians are very good in working. You know, that is another concept we have had. And very good people and uh, very reliable. That's why it's the case came. And uh, this was the case, this was the first case was registered for a donation for All India Congress Committee. Souvenir case in Sodom. When All India Congress Committee brought a souvenir, they asked many big companies to take advertisement. Would you take advertisement on a rate and other things? What would be normally? Maximum? Huh? A few hundred no, rupees, few thousand rupees, few tens of thousand rupees. Twenty-five lakhs. At that time. Twenty-five lakhs. So, including Tata, this Nathan Tata, the Tata family says he has not paid right, but he has taken... Upper sir, Nathan Tata wouldn't have been there, it would have been J.R.D. Tata. No, 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 and uh, I have examined the Naval Estrata. <laughs> and the uh, Tata was telling that they, uh, that is true, they have no black money, but they make uh, their uh, dealers to give money. Whether you give or uh, you ask your dealer to give, you are a part of the uh, gang. <laughs> you can't say my organization is uh, uh, above board. In the process, so a lot of things came across during that investigation only came across. How the politicians make money and how the political parties are making money and uh, how they are utilizing it, and how they are parking it in a crowd. That was a very, very interesting case and investigating experience for us, as far as myself is concerned, I got it. When we, uh, uh, then, uh, we go on 3rd October 1977, the operation was planned at 7 o'clock. The operation was planned at 7 o'clock. We were to arrest KD Malavia, Gokale, about uh, 10 or 20 million ministers, and uh, 10 20 secretaries, and uh, 10 20 uh, industries. 
all fellows were identified and at that time we have to arrest them. So this was all India operation and it was done within uh, very confidentially and only in Charan Singh and uh, C.V. Narasimha director and some of the people know about the arrest of Mrs. Gandhi. Whereas other people know they are going to arrest some secretaries and other things. And uh, I was uh, one of the uh, part of the confidential team and uh, 7 o'clock we went into the, the instruction was earlier given by the Home Minister, you must arrest Mrs. Gandhi and take her to the Parliament Street Police Station, put her under ribbon locker and she should not be allowed to sleep and uh, you should see that everything is dirty and next day you should produce before the court and take her 14 days remand and then put her in the same locker or whatever locker and then uh, you allow, they will let the court go. Yeah, that was the vengeance they had against Mrs. Khan. And this was the entire plan. And uh, the head of the team, the investigating officer, chief investigating officer was one DM Rao. And the supervising officer was uh, F.C. Sharma. But when uh, such operation is uh, taking place, they have nominated a person who is acquitted with the case of uh, Mrs. Khan. Kisa Kursi ka case in Karimla? Kisa Kursi ka case. Sundarla Nahata took a film ridiculing Mrs. Gandhi and that censor board was not given it and that film was released. And that case, that, uh, what uh, Sanjay Gandhi did was, he forcibly took the negative and burnt it in his Maruti complex in Gurgaon. That was called the Kisa Kutsika case, in which Mr. Sanjay Gandhi was arrested. That was the first case of arrest of Sanjay Gandhi. And uh, he was the NK Singh in the period of Orissa Kata IT officer. He was the DIG. So he was asked to get uh, I mean the team for arrest of Mrs. Gandhi. So we went exactly at 7 o'clock. But before we went, our director took a uh, hold of the commissioner of police. We are going to, at that time, just over about 10 minutes before, that we are going to arrest Mrs. Gandhi. You all want the security. Because there will be a lot of problem. problem. Then uh, he was, uh, Satur Vedi was the commissioner of police. And he was blabbergasted and he was uh, in fact telling the no, no, please don't do it. If she goes out of the Delhi, you kindly arrest her. Please don't do that in all this. See, that was the uh, expression of a commissioner of police at that time. But uh, they said nothing to you, we are going away. We went into the house of, uh, she was there at the subdaging in place. She did not vacate the house at that time. So when we went, uh, there was nobody. It, like this, uh, earlier there was no SPG or NSG or anybody. You know, she is a former Prime Minister and all the securities were with the ground. So not even one policeman was standing before her house. So we walked into the house and we saw Mrs. Gandhi sitting in a chair in the drawing room. And the more MK Singh is uh, told I am so and so and so. I, uh, we have uh, come to arrest you. Then uh, she started uh, shouting, oh, well, what is the allegation and uh, what is this nonsense you are doing, all these things. But in the meanwhile, uh, Sanjay Gandhi had come in. By the time this uh, Rajiv Gandhi also had come, because it is 7 o'clock, all the people of their protests are come. And Sanjay Gandhi came. He, he pulled physically Mrs. Gandhi and put her in a room. He said, you don't talk anything. You do not know who to speak. You are only, you did all nonsense. You gave a lot of power to the CBA and they have come to arrest you. <laughs> <laughs> so, you go. You are the main responsible for this fellow. Like that, he shouted and he came, put her in a room and came back. Mr. Singh, I know about you, you, you will do some uh, Jimmy and all these things. Now, according to 1973 CRPC Act, I am, my mother is an accused means, you must give a copy of the FIA. You see, legally he is asking, he is not asking any extra favor that these people should have given the copy of the FIA. They said, no, we will give it only at the court. We will not give it to you. There is a provision, the accused will not be given, only at the time of charge cha sheet, eh? only ca complaint, uh, the complaint, copy of the complaint would be given to the complainant, not to the accused. So we will give you only at the time of, uh, but informally, whenever there is a big case registered in the Madras, we used to give a copy of the railway department, the GM, the case registered, the railway put on the So copy put on the there is nothing wrong in it, eh? but they, they, they said nothing to it. Then, uh, he was uh, creating a lot of halagula and uh, no, he, uh, unless you give me a copy of the affair and what is the allegation, we will not, uh, I will not ask, ask her to go along with you. In the meanwhile, 
when this drama was going on, seven o'clock we entered, seven thirty, seven forty-five. We do not know what happened. The casing went. There was a call. That time there was no cell phone and all these things. So he, he was called out by a wireless message, and he went. He came back and uh, turned the whole uh, story up and down. Up and down. And uh, we were all surprised. And he told uh, Sanjay Gandhi, "Yes, now no, we will arrest your mother and give a bail. Give her bail." The, we ourselves we can uh, give away. There is no nothing. Uh, no. The police officer himself can give. There is a provision in the CRPC. So we will give a bail, and now we ask her to come and reach uh, the bail bond. I do not know, my dear friends. The Prime Minister was there. The our law minister Bharatwaj was the government now. Kannada governor was there. All legal luminaries of Indra Gandhi, the Congress fellows were there. They said yes, sir. yes, sir. This fellow said nothing good. My mother will not give a pain. So he went back, pulled her out. Now you go along with him. So he put the bar on us. You know when we, you know when we shouted that we should arrest her, arrest her. Suddenly there, there was a change of tune. Suddenly the problem. I mean he sensed it. There is something wrong. But I love you twice. That is the Sanjay Gandhi, and the fellow is a very super intelligent guy. And uh, I have all uh, hats off to that fellow, whatever it may be, his bad uh, a part of it. But uh, this was never expected. So when uh, we say, first we went with um, all um, stamina, stamina and uh, strength to arrest her, and suddenly um, the instruction came, no, no, don't arrest her, you arrest her and uh, leave her bail. Means that things were uh, doing the entire ulta that uh, taking her to parliament's police station, all gone. So, that he sensed it somehow. He said, no, my mother will go with you. So, then uh, we have the MK Singh and other officers, they cannot say no. Because when an accused, you say you are accused, arrested. When she comes to you, you cannot say no, I will not <laughs> take you. So again, he went back to uh, director and all legal luminaries were discussed. Then uh, Chatur Vedi was asked, to provide an accommodation uh, in uh, some secluded place. And uh, he said, no, nothing doing. He put all your arrest her, you take her out of uh, Delhi, and next day you bring her and uh, produce any book. But uh, don't keep her in Delhi, Delhi will be burning. <coughs> then, uh, at that time, the Haryana Chief Minister was a BJP, the Janta Party member, that uh, Chief Minister. And uh, he immediately informed Charan Singh probably, asked the CBA fellows to bring it to Durban. I will give, I will keep her. After he, he, there was uh, information, I mean there was an uh, instruction like that. So suddenly, yes, the one way we will move. We put her, uh, Mrs. Gandhi, in the ambassador car, and uh, Kiran Bedi was at the time deputy commissioner of police in charge. And uh, since she was not, uh, you know, she was only as a jurisdictional police officer king, and uh, she was not, not allowed to do anything, because the, the CPA was doing everything. So, lady police officers were taken, and we, the car went towards Gurgaon. Uh, and when it went to Gurgaon, there was one railway crossing was there. When Delhi Ahmedabad Express was going on, that was blocked. See, there was no planning. If there is a plan to take her to, already we would have stopped the train. And if we would have opened the gate, nothing would have been done. Because everybody was in a hush hush manner. And then every officer felt morally terribly weak. And they wonder what the everything is doing, nobody was knowing, and except in the delegacy. So when uh, the convoy was doing, that uh, Parabha, that uh, railway gate was stopped, uh, and the Mrs. Gandhi said, uh, Oh, I'm feeling suffocated, please. Like that, uh, she said, and uh, he opened uh, the door, and she came and said, Fortunately, there was a paraphrase. There, there was a mother, or a canal, or a mother, 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 he was following it. Then uh, he came to uh, the MK Singh, Mr. DIG. You said the offense is committed in Delhi. You said that the court is in Delhi. You arrested her in Delhi. How can you take you to another state? He put another bomb cell. Then uh, the, the gate was opened, the train went, nothing moving. Because unless you answer this question, you cannot do this. So uh, I will not allow my mother to cross uh, Gurgaon because he knows. If he is taken to Gurgaon, that fellow will do some uh, mischief. So he uh, uh, told this second bomb. 
again MK Singh got a headache I mean got confused and he went and asked in the wireless what happened to her I mean from the director and ultimately they decided you bring her back and keep, keep her in Kingsway camp Kingsway camp went to the number of police quarters at the Parla and the Parla was a police complex and the IPS missile or IPS officers missile with the just uh, AC room so by about 2 o'clock we brought her and put her in there and the second damage was usually when the arrest is used we produced before the magistrate not nearest magistrate we produced before a nominated CBI magistrate you know in a tenth metropolitan magistrate is a nominated magistrate for us but if it is a prevention of corruption act we have to produce it before the special judge and to get a remand or whatever things are so cases are illa there was a special judge go for CBI that magistrate was to give you uh, I mean, we have to produce before. So our plan was to produce before the thesis are report. But that also was started, I mean, uh, thwarted by the uh, public prosecutors. No, 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 so then that on they will raise another query. He, she, she was arrested in parliament magistrate uh, jurisdiction. So she should be produced first before the parliament magistrate, then uh, thesis are report. You see, this is too much of imagination on the part of our legal officers. And uh, there is nothing like that. We can straight away produce within 24 hours to the concerned magistrate. And if it is not possible, nearest the magistrate where she is arrested. That is the provision is there. But in Delhi, that the main, main court is there, and she is in Delhi, there is nothing problem about it. But uh, our own uh, problem created. As a result, the parliament magistrate was informed that we are producing before the court. Then, when next day, when Mrs. Gandhi was produced, and uh, he is Dayal, I still remember that uh, judge name, magistrate name, very sofer and uh, very unassuming fellow. And uh, he came and uh, he, first argument was CBI, we have uh, registered a cognizable offences and uh, arrested Mrs. Gandhi and uh, we wanted to be her pay and uh, she did not want to be our producing before you. You know, this type of submission should not be made. Either you make a study for a judicial demand, understand? Or you openly say that we have no objection if she files a bail petition. If we have no objection. You, you cannot say that we are producing just before you who take action. And uh, afterwards, Frank Gantani started uh, uh, speaking out of one hour. Well, last thing left and right, that there is no uh, evidence in this case, there is no prime privacy case. It's a pol political case and all these things. So, after hearing it, uh, the magistrate gave an order that in, uh, uh, I am discharging you. You know, he cannot do that. He, you know, he said that since there is no case is made out against Mrs. Gandhi by the public prosecutor, simply they said the arrested and the produced. That is not an evidence. You should say what is the evidence if she is let on now done and she will tamper the evidence. That is why it is on the whole nonsense they want to say. So, uh, without any making any reference, uh, they just to submit it. And the uh, magistrate thought uh, probably they have uh, they have listed a false FIR. Yeah. Now they are getting out. So let us uh, not be a party for it. I will discharge it. So she was discharged from that case. The moment she was discharged, and Mr. Sanjay Gandhi took her into his matador van. You know, he used to come and roam on the matador van at that time. And uh, put her out and uh, just vanished. And the whole drama of uh, CBA arrest came to a very questionable act. So in 1977 itself, any arrest by a CBI or in political cases, we will meet with such kind of, uh, unless otherwise it is properly planned and legally, you know, we, if you give, a, you give to the investigating officer, we will do it. But uh, you give different type of instruction, one day you are arrested, then second time you don't say you don't arrest, then uh, you can't do our investigation properly. And why are you giving such a uh, sloppy investigation, I mean instructions? And we will do the investigation, find the charge sheet. And the later on we will do the, I mean, uh, let them raise the court. That is the uh, part which we used to raise. So this is how Mrs. Gandhi's episode was, uh, uh, arrest was there. And that had paved a way for regaining the confidence in the public. And within three years, this Sanjay Gandhi alone throttled the Janta Party of 350 parliament members, absolute majority they had. Within three months, uh, three years, he shattered the Janta government and they made Charan Singh as a uh, Prime Minister and within three months he was pulled up and the election was brought and 81 she came with thumping majority.
and when she came back, in the meanwhile, irrespective of the arrest episode, we charged her in several cases. We charged her in several cases. And that is the more interesting part. And uh, that was uh, called uh, sugar scandal case, MMTC. You know the MMTC and the STC? Mineral and Metal Trading and the rest. You uh, won't make me hear when I will come down. Anyway, that, you see, that time only I came to know that uh, there was uh, all the money is parked outside. How is it? You would have heard the name Suraj Park? Lord Suraj Park. Now, you see, he was only a metal trader, a scrap dealer of Calcutta. And he was taking scraps from the Hindustan Sheep Yard and all these things and selling it to the railway company. And that fellow went to, uh, took her daughter and the cancer treatment, she died. And he started uh, receiving this uh, uh, scrap sent by his brothers and selling it to the British uh, railroading mills. And I, what is the connection between Mrs. Gandhi and the, uh, the Swarajpa? He is only the, whenever, because he became a uh, uh, little more important person, he got hold of all the important uh, people in uh, Parliament, uh, UK Parliament. So she had, whenever she goes to the UK, she uh, he used to invite her for dinner. They became friends. Now, now that is the beginning. And when we saw every contract which import is made by India, entered by STC or MMTC or FCI or any publicity undertaking for import of any material, 3% commission was paid to him. 3% commission of the total contract was paid to him. And we pay much higher price and we import the materials. You understand this? You understand this? 100 rupees material worth we are importing. We pay 200 rupees to the exporter. And he gives that 100 rupees balance, uh, 3 per, uh, 3% to that person. And the balance he gives it to the uh, other organization, other intelligence organizations who are uh, promoting in different denominations. That is what, to the, uh, for national security purposes, they will say. And uh, the recently Poroli Arms case you would have heard, you know, the raw arranged for import of arms. And this money was paid by whom? Ra. So how did the raw got the money? Like this trend, that 50% uh, will be parked by them, and 50% of the profit will be parked by the Benami of uh, Mrs. Gandhi. So when the election was announced in 1977, they opened, one fellow opened a letter of credit, I don't know, banking some people are here or not. They opened a letter of credit called the Red Letter of Credit. You know, an exporter, uh, that uh, Caprico company, the storage power, he is opening on uh, his sister concern in here that I want to import uh, elephant to pill. So I am opening a red letter of credit. I am sending 500 crores or 20 at that time, one crore. You know, there is no uh, quotation, nothing. Now, he himself is opening a, uh, a letter of credit and is sending the money which is uh, admissible under the foreign exchange. Any money through, coming through legal changes, it was welcome. So this way, the amount came from, uh, at that time it was around two crores. The amount came from uh, uh, from Swiss bank and uh, the election expenses was met. Then after the election is over, what these fellows have done it? I told you the souvenir, the 25 lakhs uh, one page, they collect money a lot of, uh, from industries for election purposes. And uh, balance amount, whatever is left, some uh, another about one crore, was sent back to the same exporter. Then after the election, he says, I cancelled the red letter of credit, you please return the amount. So this man is returning the amount, and uh, the money again goes back to Swiss bank. This is how our politicians part the money outside in the Swiss bank or any bank. And then when there is a need, they bring it to media intermediate through legal plan, through illegal, not uh, illegally, that is different. Illegally bringing and giving gross of rupees that nobody can wait for. But legally they bring it, the channel, and then uh, they take it back. These are all uh, uh, the method of uh, working out this. This is how the parking of money or money laundering is happening. Now we will come to the, the reputation of CBI, in my opinion, right from the beginning, it was not an independent organization. I am open to you. It is not an independent. The officers investigating was independent. The power was given to them. That is independent. But when uh, when a decision was to be taken, whether I want to charge it Tata or I want to charge it uh, uh, here, I mean big, uh, big uh, Abdulla or anybody, at that time the file will not come back to you at all with any decision.
Ah, three people. When she came in 1981, as a PM, she took part and that continued to be the practice now. So, <laughs> now we will come to that. It's a whole CBI. Actually, this is the first unique case of CBI. Pardon? No, no, no. It was during the Muraji Desai government. Now, after 81, Mrs. Gandhi came back as the Prime Minister. So it is still with PMO. It is still with the PMO office. Absolutely. It is still with the PMO office. And the civil directive is also there. What has been scrapped during Muraji Desai, it has come back. So it is also that civil directive was also there. Now, in my experience, we have investigated a lot of uh, bribery cases received by various uh, we are big, big bureaucrats, ministers, everybody. But uh, the, the fact is, if I receive a complaint against an ITO or a Supreme Commission of Police or a commission or Chief Commissioner, I trap and I immediately go away. Okay. Then investigation is over and then I send the file. If the, they, 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 and there is a protection in the Prevention and Corruption Act. If any public servant is to be charged in the court of law, you must get a previous sanction from the concerned department. There is a rider in the, that is a safeguard for the servant, public servant, who are working on the day of my child, filing, child, or filing charge sheet, he must be public servant. If he is not a public servant while well, I, I, I file a charge sheet, I, I need not uh, take the sanction also. Okay. I can straight away file the charge sheet. Now, this is a unique case of 2G. Very really many people do not know. The first generation, uh, Sam Patodia is the, um, um, father of our innovation in the communication department under the uh, Rajiv Gandhi when Prime Minister was there. He only brought it up and uh, the first when the satellites were put, the inter uh, Indian satellites were launched with the help of the uh, French uh, uh, launch pad and uh, Soviet launch pad, there a lot of uh, space was there which was exclusively used by defense and our PNT department. It was not given to anybody. When Muraji Desai came during liberalization of the policy, when Pramod Mahajan was the minister of information, so he said, we have a lot of uh, bandwidth is there, why not be uh, given to the private providers? So that is how the CMA, CMPA, all this uh, earlier, earlier, you know, the service provider came into the, that wireless, that uh, uh, your uh, cell phone came into the existence in the first G case. First G cases. What he did was, in the beginning, when he was the minister, and he took the approval of the uh, uh, prime minister, and uh, tried, there is a telephone regulating authority there. That is, uh, yeah, uh, right, yeah, right. Right. So, that authority was also constituted, eh? and uh, they were to give the guidelines to the Ministry of Communication as to how to issue the licenses in all these things. They said, you go to action these licenses. You know, my dear gentleman, I am telling you, you are all paying a license from the postal department for your TV and radio. Do remember? Any wireless communication, if anybody possesses, you must have a license. Individually. Doesn't matter the all India or you are broadcasting and you, you, you have a radio, you should have a, a license. The license fee is only a nominal fee. It is not a revenue from the department. They want a control as to with whom these are all wireless equipments are there. This was the purpose behind this controlling of the wireless equipments, the wireless telegraphy card. So, when they decided uh, it has to be given to the service provider, then uh, they said that every TV owner, uh, every TV also they had a license. Now that was also dispensed. And they said uh, that uh, we will action this uh, spectrum space and uh, licenses will be issued. And uh, it was action. When it was actioned, uh, and the people who took in the, in, uh, in the beginning, and uh, they could not, because that time it was the beginning stage of uh, this uh, cell phone, and nobody had evidence of interest. And they paid a huge amount for license fee, which was fixed by the tribe, and uh, collected by the department, uh, and they went to the Supreme Court of India. They went to the Supreme Court of India. The same uh, Reliance uh, and the Bharati, and the, all these fellows who took the uh, uh, first when they went and submitted it, then they said, no, 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 they, uh, the government submitted, I am not, uh, this is not a contract where I should tender. You can you note it. 
in the communication of wireless license is issued, it is not on the basis of a tender basis. It is not tender. It is not a contract. The license is given to you and to control, uh, to control the wireless operation. That's all. I am the only superintendent and the newer operator and uh, there is no tender 1962 act comes in. As a result, it is not a tender procedure. So the uh, Supreme Court said, in as much as a tender procedure is there, action is not also allowed by the, uh, it is not permitted. Action is also not permitted. So you come, whoever is the first come, first serve basis, you give the license. So this was the direction given by the Supreme Court and the case was pending by the time 2G has come. By the time the second generation uh, 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 wireless uh, uh, has come. I think in that time, when Mr. Diane Maran was the uh, communication minister, and the key was to process this application. And as you know, due to political uh, wrangling, he was uh, removed. You know that? You know, Diane Edi was uh, removed. And uh, what uh, Diane Edi Maran was uh, offering, he is the man who said it should go for others. And uh, he only put up the note, and uh, he only uh, got the approval of the Prime Minister also. The, even though first come first survey, we should not give it to the existing uh, license holders. We should invite large service providers. You understand this? Reliance support, Tata, Oko, Kukura. Then they will monopolize it. So, it should be given to the uh, fresh licenses. And uh, we should not uh, keep only three or four uh, selected fellows. They will form a factor and it will be a uh, user's policy. So, he only suggested it and said that the existing license order should be done given the 2G. Only the fresh people who come first to come first to serve, you should be handed over, it should be given to them. At that stage, the Tata made a complaint because they were the first to ask for 2G. And uh, Reliance was the first to ask for, they were, you know, they know before the policy is contemplated in the ministry, they work it out and they bring it out. And uh, they thought this Maran is on the way pretty much. And that is why there was a Rakala war between the Tata and the, And you remember that? Yes. That was the starting point. And uh, due to the Tinegaran's uh, burning issue in Madurai, he was pulled down. Karnan in the Odi, the Dayan in the Maran went. And then uh, when we went back to form the ministry, this uh, the Prime Minister told, uh, I don't want to give you a minister to Raja, because he was the environment minister at that time. And uh, a lot of compliance were there. So also TR problem. I said these two names and you don't recommend it. And you recommend them. either one, Alagiri or Kanimori, don't recommend the both. This was the submission made by the, uh, uh, the Congress party. But uh, because of Kanimori connection with the Raja, she said I don't want the final post, but the Raja should be the you know, second post and that should be the communication. Because they wanted to start a Kalangari theory at that time. If their own minister is becoming the communication minister, it will be easy for them, you know, instead of running with somebody. So that is the purpose for which he was implanted. And he was forced, Manmohan Singh was forced. That is called the coalition dharma, he said. Many people, in his report, he said it is a coalition dharma. I do not know what coalition dharma. And the public Adharmada. Then, uh, see, whatever may be, uh, well, he is the master, he is the deciding factor. And uh, anyway, this is Then, when it was uh, planted on him, and uh, 2G was 2007, it was right for calling for first to come, first to serve. So, what uh, this uh, Reliance Polo did was, and he wrote a new company called the Swam Telecom, and uh, Reliance, that one condition is the tender condition, that first to come, first to serve application. The existing uh, uh, operator of wireless should not have more than 10% stake in the new companies, even if it is, that is uh, applying for license. So, less than 10% uh, percent, uh, the company doesn't have uh, the stake, doesn't go to him. That is the purpose. I don't want to give it to you. I you should not have 10% stake also in the new company. That was the condition. So, what these fellows do, you know, our uh, legal pundits and our auditors, sorry, and they know how to <laughs> convert a uh, report it. Oh, I see, Reliance Telecommunication is 10% of the offer. Okay. But uh, other uh, company, according to the uh, Companies Act, every company is a legal person, separate identity. Every, legally, your husband to wife is separate. 
under the income tax. You can't say my husband is filing income tax, I will not file income tax. So legally, the company is a legally independent company and one legal pundit, nothing but Ram Jatamalani, for your information, who is crying now. He gave opinion that uh, you uh, divert funds from other companies of your group and you float a new company and you apply for the license. This is how they have started. And indirectly, my dear, and when this was the Reliance company started, and uh, uh, it uh, got out 122 licenses were given. That is the, whoever came they gave. There, there is no, nobody license was rejected. The only condition was the dry put. You see the spectrum space availability and then give accordingly. Don't give it to everybody. You know, without availability the spectrum, the space, you cannot give. So you, my, my, you give accordingly, 120 licenses they have given. But what they have given to Swan is under an important metro, which is uh, very, you know, revenue earning, that was given to Swan. That was some, uh, some 22 circles. Moon, moon company uh, no, no, Loop, uh, Swan, Loop, Loop, Loop Telecom, uh, which became video car. Yeah, which became video car. Uh, and Swan, one, one, Unitec. Uh, Unitec. 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 These are the three companies which got the majority of the well, uh, I mean, uh, you can say it's all a, India license. All India license. It's, but, uh, it's a revenue earning license. Well, it is not a, uh, in a Andaman Cover or something like that. Lashadi or anything like that. It is a metro. And uh, that was the reason. You know, once they got it, and uh, there was no provision that once they get the license, that they should not transfer it to any. But there is no condition. That also made them easy as soon as they got the first license. Uh, then this uh, Supreme Court uh, the Tata and Reliance went to the Supreme Court that no, no, you can't discriminate it because I am having a license. I should also be given a uh, license like that. They won the case and the Supreme Court directed the same Raja Ministry to give the spectrum to them also. So as a result, uh, when they got the license for themselves, why should I have a swan? You understand? You see, when I myself got the license, uh, and why should I have an another company and have it? So I decided to sell off this company. Yes. Sell off this license. How? This is what the three companies which took the licenses decided to sell off the offload their uh, shares and bring down the foreign investors. And the foreign investors were looking for in the communication industry, seeing the market, and they were ready to pay for any amount. For uh, 200 crores they paid for a license, they were paying 20,000 crores. What is the margin of profit? They were paying 20,000 crores, not in black. They were paying in white. But that is the reason why you are telling it is 1.74 lakhs crores of fraud. The amount of money which they have earned legally by selling offloading their stacks in the company, that is uh, unimaginable. Under 90% of the share of Swan was given to DB Reality. Who is this DB Reality? The Balwa. I do not know who is this Balwa and all these things, but according to my information, he is another Dinami of Pusharat Power. So, when uh, the DP reality told the heavy amount to this, uh, you know, the, the speed money of reliance has already come to the parties. It has gone to Congress party, it has gone to the ministry, it has gone to everybody. But the extra money which they sold and got, Raja, probably communication minister, Kasha, right? Because I gave you, now you made a huge amount of money, why don't you give it to me? That is the point you are doing. This is where he has come in, in his own capacity, not with the approval of any PMO or anything else. So when DP reality was offloading it to Getty Salat, Getty Salat is 80% owned by the Saudi company, Saudi princess. It's a Saudi government, it's not a private person. It's a Saudi government. And, uh, in the, in the FD Act, Foreign Deposit Act, if you want to have a majority share of 50%, 51%, you should have 49% you can bring straight away from the legal sources. But if you want to have 51%, you have to take a foreign deposit to approval. The FDB, approval is required. So what this FD Salat has done it is, FD Salat has asked that the Emirates, the, the, um, the, this local company, Muslim, ETA, ETA group, ETA group to float a company, Genix, 
company in Jerry's private income. And uh, for that, uh, this Jerry Salat is giving uh, 250 crores to the Mauritius Bank uh, and they are giving to uh, DBDL. And the purchase is 5% stakes. So this is the position of the swan. Similarly, unit and the loop, that is the further it. That's why they said CBI said, we will file a charge sheet further in respect of this loop and the uh, unit. That is the remaining business. But as far as Swan is concerned, they have completed the investigation and they have filed the two charge sheet. And now, when this extra money has come, it is like a boom. The OMR role, the R part, the R land or something, you know, the course can go You know, it was going like anything. So such a boom was there in the Petruji. And as a result, this uh, political man, um, Mr. Now, unless you, you give that amount. 3G has been actioned already. I don't want to know when 3G will become the scam. It, it is a more uh, the three, 2G, oh, oh, the 3G on that 3G has been given to the existing uh, license holders. And there are the heavy stakes are given for any matter. Any heavy um, um, profit premium is there, there is a heavy drive is there for the, for both the bureaucrats and politicians. It is the truth. But as far as the transaction of the bribe money is concerned, if they have paid you cash, if they have paid you cash, you will not find it out. It will be parked only as I told you outside. It will not come to India at all. It will be parked there. And there, whenever they support, but unfortunately, in 2007, when uh, Sun TV uh, was asked to vacate uh, Aliwale, and they wanted to go to this Kalangar TV, they first negotiated with the uh, JT, Raj TV. Raj TV, they wanted to publish it. But uh, ultimately, uh, why not we have our own TV? So, in our own, uh, so they wanted a white money to grow this company, to import this material. That is how 250 crores came from DB Reality. Otherwise, it would not have come. And the 250 crores also would have gone to Swiss. And uh, it would have been parked and uh, nothing would have been uh, traced now. So, the 250 crores, because it has to come as white, they have to show it as white, it came like that. And uh, in the process, uh, three, four companies was uh, Sydney Youth and uh, Sagom Farm. And so many, this is the way in which this money directly they don't give it to you. They will go to this uh, broker, they will give to that broker, they will give to this broker ultimately. When the case started in 2009, the mistake committed by Kalangal TV is they returned, they started returning the amount. They started returning the amount. The earlier statement was this amount is for having DP that is in India, will have a stake in Kalangal TV shares. Some 30 percent shares, it is towards that 250 crores. But uh, no share was allotted. And as then they beat it with his loan, and they said that we will uh, we'll pay the interest on determination. And the money was returned to 250 crores by Kalangal TV. How did they get this 250 crores? They got it from Anjugum pictures. You know, they have got Anjugum pictures of one uh, film producing company. They gave uh, some 200 crores, and the other fellows have given some 50 crores and all this thing. That is how the money is. So the major amount of money has gone to Raja and his courtiers. Now, after all, Raja, in my opinion, I have seen him, I have conducted with him. He is a very sincere guy. And he is not a politically famous in Tamil Nadu. You agree? He became closer to Karnataka family only through another uh, MLA of uh, old Michael uh, he got a seat. Then after coming to Chennai, and uh, he was uh, developing some contact with do not know, and uh, got into the family of Karnan. Uh, then he started helping this uh, Kalinga TV license and all these things. And they got the huge amount and handed over sincerely to them without taking any prices. But uh, in the 3G case, in the 3G case, he thought, why not I also make money? That is how Sadiq Basha comes in. The Sadiq Basha was asked to float a real estate company, and uh, that uh, all black money was uh, given to him. And uh, that is a part of uh, Raja's uh, profit. And he has got a number of uh, companies, you know, pharmaceutical companies, media companies, and all these things. That is how. And the sincerity, you know, I will, I, what will I give the entire amount? I will also take it, 
for 10% of the share. The 10% of the share of the bribe amount only was held by Mr. Sadi Pasha. And uh, that case was to be separately investigated. That is why Sadi Pasha was called a firm interrogator to all these things. You see, there is a pressure from the Supreme Court to find the charge, to find the charge. As a result, then, the CBI, in my opinion, they are also are helpless. You see, unless you give time, I cannot go and collect evidence altogether, you know. I'll ultimately go on and do it. It goes, uh, they got uh, from Sri Yuki to uh, Kalingar. They, oh, they got uh, very, I, I tell you, they got Barbara Gatter, yes, case is there in like, Kalingar TV, Ungo Pando. That's, uh, then, uh, secondly, yeah, this, uh, when they come down to Raja, at that point of time, the person who is uh, his binami, he has no other alternative except to the start. That if he had come, in the normal course he wanted to commit suicide. When he was raided in 2009, he ended up, he would have committed suicide. But uh, he still stood the all the interrogation and all these things. But when the matter started giving more attention by the CBI, that this is the money of uh, Raja and you are the binami holder. And then uh, he has no other goal to say it is my money. If he doesn't say it is their money, he should say it is his money. And that uh, he cannot survive. And there is a precedent in uh, uh, the same issue is there when the uh, uh, overbridge case was there. You would have all remembered when Ramesh of Ananagar committed a suicide of the entire family. You know that? So there is some sort of uh, similarity is there which uh, the persons of, uh, you know, he, he has to choose. Either he has to, he is a foolish fellow who committed a suicide with all the family members. But he, since he is a Muslim, and one Muslim uh, was interacted with me in Jaya TV, he said in Muslim community, nobody will commit suicide. So how he committed suicide? No, it is not a suicide. It is only murder. Take the out of the Muslim who made the father. So, the uh, father. <laughs> So, but when a man is driven to a point, if it is his own uh, problem, he can face it. If it is uh, other's problem, he, have, he has to take a decision whether he to leave or not. So, the suicide is correct. But then the attempt to who made him to commit suicide and uh, who were uh, responsible they can give, that is the point for interpretation. Sir. Now, with this, if any, what yeah. I leave to the... Yes, uh, sir, we have a lot of questions. We have a lot of questions, whatever you ask. I am prepared to uh, give you, but uh, provided, don't color me with any political party. <laughs> 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 yeah. Has really Sadiq Pasha died? Or has he been allowed to what is called escape a undisclosed foreign country? It's a very good question. It's a very good question. Sir, you can also put a question. Yeah. Yeah. This is, a, this, is a very, hand mic, if anybody wants ask a question, this is the first point I am telling you, for any investigating officer, for any investigating officer, if a body is died, the body has to be identified either by the relative or by close friends. In Mrs. Gandhi, in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination case, the body was not identified by anybody. It was identified by Mopuna, not by the police or anybody. You know, when there is a dead body is there, okay, now it is a suicide. Now in my case, in the Rajiv Gandhi case, so Shandu committed suicide. There was an allegation that CBI has uh, tortured him and uh, 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 you know, done to death and hanged him. That is not the truth because I was the university officer. I know, I only got the remand for uh, Shandu. I only sent him to Kodiakare and all these things. And uh, how he committed suicide at that time itself, and uh, people were not allowed to investigate it properly, and as a result, it was wrong. After 10 years, Jain Commission asked the NDME to how, find out the truth. I tell you, when he ran away from the CJ custody, he was wearing white shirt, white dhoti, white banyan, and underwear. And while going, he discarded one by one, he went only with the underwear. And while he was hanging, he was hanging with the lungi, and the rope, thick rope. It is not an ordinary rope. Now you can't lift it. Such a thick rope. And uh, with that uh, he is hanging in the next day. So the people thought uh, the uh, CBI has knocked him and all At that time itself, I told the uh, chief, please listen. When he escaped, he escaped without uh, anything. Now he has got a lungi. Now let us find out whose lungi is that. 
no, 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 it is, uh, we have to see uh, state police. The case was going to the state police. And as a result, uh, as you, you know, the state police, how they will use people. They just host it as a suicide. Then after 10 years, my dear friend, I started the investigation. I, that investigation came to me. After I retired, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, relinquished from the CBI, that uh, Rajiv Gandhi case. And uh, I started uh, MDMA SP. I was uh, asked to look into this case. I put, uh, because I know, we have not touched him. No, I I am quite sure that I have not touched this man. I have not tortured him. How did he escape? How did he escape? And I found out one officer, senior officer, and uh, that that when he was arrested, that I know when he was arrested, surrendered and arrested and came to Madigiri, sir, he made a request, sir, you I will give you cooperation with all these things. Whatever I know about MDP, I will tell you. I will be. I mean, I want to tell you. Secondly. Don't put me in any in the lockup of Vedaranyam police station. Vedaranyam police station is his own place. Please don't put me in the Vedaranyam police station. You put me in any other police station apart from that. Nagapatna district of Pradigo. That is his request. And uh, when the officer who he went, he took us to that and showed in Kodiya Kare, recovered 210 boxes of codex, explosives, which can blast this entire city. Such amount of explosives were hid in the sea side, underneath the ground, and this was all uh, dug open. And he, because of this information, and he seized it. And the uh, wireless operator and the wireless uh, everything you know, equipment he buried. And in the process, he buried very important letters written by uh, Danu and Subha, that assassin, to Prabhakar and Kotoban. That letter also was buried in one of the suitcases. So, after uh, exposing all those things, uh, this man was brought to the um, um, TV and uh, one officer, one, uh, I don't want to name him, he's a senior IPS officer and he is a man who doesn't know how to interrogate. He thought this man is a smuggler to LTT, he must be having a lot of AK-47 and explosives, I mean other than arms and ammunition imported from foreign countries and he is telling it to tell me where is it, where is it. He told, sir, I have told you whatever it is, the arms and the but now it is not coming. They didn't, didn't come. They, because after the emergency in Tamil Nadu, they didn't bring arms through India. They started bringing it through Bangladesh and other places. So he told, whatever it is coming, I have given. That is all gone, sir, it is nothing in there. Then he instructed that the DSP, you put in the other army The A man commits suicide, my dear friends, by a split of second. If he takes a decision, you know, he doesn't want to go as a prisoner. I mean, as a accused, I'm put in the lockup of other army. Why? The other police station was getting regular normal. And one day he is there, and his name will be defamed, even if he gets a tutor and go back. It's a name prestige. So when prestige was, uh, whatever maybe his uh, illegal activities, when his prestige is touched, we decided, what these fellows I have given all my life and other things. Risking the you know, LGBT, they will kill him. But I am you know, exposed to all this. This brother is putting me inside. He started running. He started running and he went inside the uh, electrician's house. His wife, he was keeping it. So he went there. He was running without uh, anything, you know, this uh, underwear only. He called her by name. By that time, the electrician, as usual, he was gone. The tank and he was sleeping. His son was taking food, boy. And he, uh, she was just serving. Uh, Parrot to Cooper. Cooper, uh, my uncle is there in Pasubadi. Kindly go and call him. You send your son. By the time the boy was sent, uh, the Pasubadi and the son was also taken by police. Because they were searching all the relatives and all this, taking to the police station. So, she went inside my bar. son did not come. I will go and find it out. Then she went. The doctor, your son also has gone in, uh, in the police station. Then she came running and pleaded with Shanmugam and we went out to the direction of the world. We were going to go to the other side of the world. We were going to go to the other side of the world. We were going to go to the other side of At that time, I have not seen the rope because we are not allowed to see the rope even. But uh, I saw the rope after taking the case. And uh, that day, the rope was issued by the electricity department. One side is the other side. And the rope is issued by the Tamil Nadu Electricity Board. 
and this corona has given a complaint with this last two. So we now link that the man escaped went to that place and he was then when he informed that everybody is uh, inside the locker, then he said there is no other go. I have either because that is a you know, there is no one to help you. Uh, you are driven to commit suicide. That's why you come to suicide. Now similarly in this case, the first question raised by you, whether it is a body of Sali Pasha or not. This is a very basic question. He was taken by, from her house. The body was taken from the house. There is a record, there is evidence. And it has gone to not any ordinary hospital. It has gone to Apollo Hospital. You remember, it's a private hospital. But still, you can say Apollo, they will not, you know, miss you anything. Because that, uh, there is no, no, no. No, no, when a body is brought, nobody knows who is his, uh, his body. Uh, listen, his wife has already gone, you know, when they told him his body is dead, uh, she just left him. That is the point for our investigation. And she was going to Paramaru. Then police was informed by the Apollo police. Hey, one lady brought her, uh, one other fellow, they said, uh, this is the body of, uh, no, husband is Satutan Sundi. Our Kana man, I mean, a police came from medical legal cases. They informed the police. The police came. And uh, they said, to whose body is this? No, sir, you are wrong. Sadi Pasha, Bibi Sunam, you know, somebody, they know that word. Man who was pulling. Then immediately they went to the Sadi Pasha house. There right? it was locked. And they found out uh, his wife was uh, going towards uh, uh, Pramudu. Then they cut out of her and brought her, got her identity. Not only his wife. All other relatives, because this is a very sensitive case. This is a very sensitive case. They brought all the relatives and say whether it is Sali Pasha or whatever. Yes, it is Sali Pasha. Then only they brought it. So, they are. But I have seen the report from the Lalana. No, see, in, uh, even now today, Prabhagaran is Sali Pasha. Prina? He said, unless otherwise, uh, normal person, he was a See, now, without anybody's knowledge, she has taken it and put it in a hospital and uh, deserted and died away. The lot of suspicion will come. Now, she said, I broke open the door and went inside. But the broke was, uh, door was intact. It was not uh, broken. So, these are the point of investigation, which the investigation is the CBI will do it. And uh, as far as this first doubt is concerned, it's a valid uh, point. But in my opinion, from the circumstances which the basic investigation has conducted, it is hard for Shabbat. That is fine. They don't want to give a publicity that is it is Ali Pasha party, number one. Because a lot of people will say it's a suicide, it's a murder and all these things. But still, they have to show he is, whether he is alive or he is dead. Whether he is alive or dead. Okay. Now, when these questions have to be put to that Apollo authority, why do you cover all this? You know, as far as this suicide is case is concerned, suicide is case is concerned, and if any body goes there, they will wrap it with the weight loss. In case they will wrap it in weight loss. Don't think it is you can see such bodies only it is unclimbed in the road, accident there, or the man who is died is a first mother of Pony now they cut up. But a very important person, anybody who died, I went and attended several VIPs, including Wala Pati Ramuji. They just uh, accept the face, they cover the entire thing and put it in the uh, freezer box. And they will uh, move it and uh, at that time when they hand over, the body will be then uh, uh, that white cloth will be there. So, full part of India. Full of India. Even in Muslims, I have seen they are uh, giving a bath before burying. So, as far as that doubt is concerned, that is, I mean, although you may not have it, but how he died, why they are telling a lot of stories. To correct uh, one mistake, you have to say thousand mistakes. So, in the thousand district, Panamota, the investigating officer has to be very careful. Where is the rope? He says it was a rope used by the Tuli Katuangala. Chinna Pandila Tuli Katuangala. And the rope went wrong. 
That was the statement given. But why, where is the proof? And how? And the parents are not there. They are not schooling for the right. Other day, that is not being put up here. That is only for the country. Who is it? Sir, our government is not doing that. Only the government is doing it. All these are all unnatural doubt, which has to be investigated. அதுல இருந்து 
you will say that this fellow is concealing certain things. Purinya, ni kita lah, ni kita pelajar mula anda kuno. Muka lo kupu kanan ondi ni, orang yang lighter itu lah potan ala. Ni kita pati besar, yang ada cipta mana macam ni. Ada potan ni sah, ah kat kat pasir sah orang tuan. Purinya, adunan lah, anda kau, apa nama brain mapping test, macam mana lah sistem test. Tapi ni na injection pergi pada tu. Ini, ada tu. Ana aku selalu aku tu suruh sah ini, director ini, director tu pun sah. Ini angin ni lah potel, ni biar tu lah ini sah. This is way in which the people get threatened. That is the method which we use. Number one, I do not say that we don't beat that person. If he is misbehaving, sorry, ya. If he is acting, whatever may be his position, ini sanjay Gandhi ya. Pada beberapa waktu itu sah sah. Ini seventy seven lah emergency. Ini yang nama mati yang berubah. Awan tak saman ada pun. Pertama, pertama hari ini, rawat orang dah jadi. Itu hari ini, anak office orang dah jadi. Ini case no notice pun. Ini yang akan kita tu watch. You will come. You will come. You will sit down. Who has called me now? Muda ayu atau pun tu bawa. Okey orang. Sir, you are prepared. Big question sir. Jangan question nak prepare pun orang ni. Awan ni nak kaya kerja ni. Sir, question sir, prepare pun tinggal. Semua question tu ni yang ini sir. Don't waste my money. I do not know. Perlu ni kan? I do not know. I do not know. Only. But the, the, oh, I was looking. Okay. I you know I have read this uh, Sattori case. We should read all the Supreme Court judgment. We should all want our legal. For you know, sir, now we are now our legal knowledge is gone. You know, tell me, you know, all the no solution to it. Now, I am going to get some of this. Is that the Tukman case? The Tukman get case. The Delhi party, la Delhi la Tukman get that one. Who are they to be the chairman? Wacih, diri yang chairman ada, kalau Jackmon, Jackmon, wacih ada tu. Ibu bapa tahu, mana? It is a, ya, sorry, ini power disclosure. You press news, saja kami sah tu. I called him. He came. He came and he said, "Wanji, oh, apa question ada apa lagi ya? For all the questions, I said, saja sila. I am going to ask you only three questions. I am not going to ask you any more questions. If you say you do not know, I will take." I asked, what is your father name? I asked, what is your father name? Then he said, I don't know. I said, you do not know? I might, I do not know. Then he got uh, very curious. Don't you know my father? I said, many people say anything, but you are subject to interrogation. You must say who is your father. Secondly, you know, were you not the chairman of the Maruji Technical Service? Because he is the company, he is the MD. He has to say yes or no. <coughs> See, I do not know. These things he cannot say, I do not know. I made him to sit and I exactly recorded all his statements and including, I told you, I told Mr. Sanjay, Mr. Sanjay, I will tell you which question I will put you for which you should not say anything. You have the power. If I ask you whether you gave instruction to the uh, Jack Morgan to demolish that uh, Tukman get that is a humiliating question, you should not answer. But I am asking you on 29th, 10th, 1976, where were you at about 4 o'clock? Where were you at about 4 o'clock? I am not asking anything. Where are you? Where were you? It is left to you say, I don't remember. I, but I don't know, sort of that. I don't remember, sort of that. Then we became friends. And he said, Sorry, I thought that this is what many people do it and all these things. Number one. Number two, when we come to deal with certain officials and if they start behaving indifferently, because you lose your. Uh, no, the police vitality will uh, overtake. So, there, in the same assassinated Tesla, you are not going to be able to do it. If you are not going to be able to do it, you are not going to be able to do it. If you are not going to be able to do it, you are not going to be able to do it. There are certain methods. There are certain methods. Which, without meeting, you will make that man to suffer. That is a very peculiar technique, which I will not disclose. I will make you to be a vomiter within five seconds if you don't tell me the truth. If you adopt that method. Okay? 
Sir, but in one case, I can I can tell you, in one of my cases, one accused was very, very adamant, and he was not at all working for me. And uh, that was a very senior uh, uh, case. He was a storekeeper. But uh, one officer uh, has adopted that matter. So uh, that is an extreme case. So uh, I, you know, the Purun or Ali? Leprosy. I will pick up from the road and take them and make him to sit by the side. If he touches that pillow, we have tolerated one of the other. Sir, he sir, I will now tell you everything, sir. So this is the one technique I have told you. That doesn't mean it is a, I mean, uh, directly using uh, that technique. Indirectly, we can do it. Okay. Um, back to the Fuji case. Yeah. Um, Political pressure court Prime Minister force he dropped him from the cabinet, or the CBA special permission they could move. But he gave the permission to this case. But by then he was also okay. In between documents and nothing destroyed. Okay. That's right, but now how do you deal with it? That is another question. Now, in the CBA book cover, our company record is not CBA book. Company record. Our number famous article is there. Dr. Raman, CBA director, my brother, senior one there. He is my close, uh, very close friend. And uh, he is an auditor. You see, they will be able to tell you. Any company record, you cannot destroy. Cash book cover, no. Ledger cover, no. Day book or no, you cannot destroy it. You have to keep it. If we talk about it, Wangana Yamaname, in a Wangana Kesha Wangana Buddha, Buri, Wangana Gorana, Mansarachu, Purina, Ipa, not direct a Wangala, Yanaka or an Alberta, Avana Banga, and she part of the correct one sort of. A prom, Yanako, the Naria contacts with the foreign lab, you have to do so. Purina. The world transaction. You did to the evidence collect from the other to your mobile telephone printer. For you, for you, the passport is not again. You put in the basic one and pop more. Sit on a pop. On a company record on the Aritum, the license put the file of Aritum. On a two key one and the international virtual. For you, international virtual. Put a Google twenty in the license yard put on the there is a record. In the one office or another record, in the government law or other record. So, on the record, we can make it up. So, officially, we can make it up. Even if you decide, I can rebuild it in the government organization. Because it goes to the various organizations. Whereas, if it is written in a private capacity, I have given so much of amount to the government. Jain Gallery Havala case in Delhi particularly. So, in the direct situation, he was writing all the accounts to the model we gave. So, other on the diary, other put a diary seized from the children. Then that is a very good evidence. But that itself is not evidence. Other Vachipi day, for all the corroborative evidence is correct. The corroborative piece of evidence is learned now. This evidence will not stand in the court of law. If he writes, the Prabhupada has taken 10 lakhs of you to solve your case of IQC, which now is one name and implicate for now. So, but unless otherwise, they, I have to prove that I have to, some more other had an illegal contact with me and received the amount. Have you know, or a clear or a prime of a case for them? Upon another, you can other than that, in the primary cases, you are minister of Angara, you are government support of Angara. I am telling you, you go to the Panagar Park, you are Sarana Sora for India, GRT for India, Gaya Lopasa for India. You are all over, you are not officer for India, you are not bill of court for India. 90% of the sale is taking place with the cash transaction. Really? When you give the cash, he, he, he has to account the black only. Unless he makes uh, some bill only for a permissive amount of bill of the Near a product of black item. Upon customs are a local sales tax officer. 
மந்த்லி எனக்கு இவ்வளவு கொடுக்கணும் இதெல்லாம் கொடுத்துட்டு ஒரு பேங்க் ஆஃபீஸ் என்ன பண்ணுவாங்க அப்ப நான் உட்காந்துட்டு இருக்கிறேன் சொன்ன புரியுதுங்களா <laughs> 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 புரியுதுதான் <laughs> 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 புரியுங்க <laughs> வாய்ப்பு <laughs> எல்லாத்தையும் <laughs> அவங்களை and they whatever price they fix that the tlp department did that's a government department only one of them so they will import the material from italy and other places so on the view on the material on the factory le irukku but panna vendidu ana avan enna panna factory ka employee panna varu avan work panna matta employee avan strike he did not perform so one managing director told you give it outside the material for the fabricating and you this cost no labor cost and get back the material over there. If the material is very important, we will scrap on the left over there, and we will free us in the job. That is very costly copper in the printer. What do you think? 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 So, this is how that man and man is in that part. You mean 3% commission. 3% commission bribe. That is cash out. They will not accept it. Nobody will take it in the form of any cash. பட் ஒரு கம்பெனியில் என்னாச்சுன்னா 
ஒரு இருபத்தஞ்சு கம்பெனி அவங்க லிஸ்ட் எழுதி வச்சுருக்கோம் இவர் ஐம்பதாயிரம் கொடுத்தாரு இவ்வளோ வருஷம் கொடுத்தாரு இவ்வளோ அப்படின்னு அந்த கம்பெனியை பூரா நான் கொடுத்தேன் கொடுத்து எந்த அக்கௌண்ட்டில் எழுதணும் புரியுங்க செக்காக கொடுத்துருக்கலாம் எஸ் கிவன் ஆல் த கம்பெனிஸ் ஆர் கிவன் செக் ஸோ வென் ஐ சா தே ரைட் நார்மலி அந்த டொனேஷன் அக்கௌண்ட் ஏன்னா இங்கே இது சரியாப்பா ஸோ டொனேஷன் அக்கௌண்ட்டில் நார்மலி இட் வாஸ் ரிட்டன் அப்புறம் ஒரு ஆடிட்டர் சொன்னார் சம்டைம் கமிஷன் அக்கௌண்ட்னு எழுதுவாங்க அந்த கமிஷன் அதை எடுத்துட்டு பாருங்க அப்படின்னு புரியுங்க கமிஷன் ரெட் கமிஷன் கொடுத்துருங்க இப்போ நீங்கள் கவர்மெண்ட் ஜாபுக்கு இப்போ நான் நேராக அப்ளை பண்ணி நான் வாங்கிட்டேன் இப்போ உங்கள் பேரை போட்டு உங்களுக்கு மூணு பர்சன்ட் கமிஷன் ஏறணும்னு இஸ் நாட் இன்னிகல் ஸோ ஒரு ஒரு மார்வாடி கம்பெனிக்குள்ளோ ஹி வாஸ் கெட்டிங் த மேஜர் ஆர்டர் அண்ட் ஹி வாஸ் ரைட்டிங் இன் திஸ் இயர் புக் த்ரீ பர்சன்ட் கமிஷன் அவங்க எப்படி பர்ச்சேஸ் ஆர்டர் பர்ச்சேஸ் ஆர்டர் நான் அப்புறம் போட்டு த்ரீ பர்சன்ட் கமிஷனு அப்படின்னு சொல்லி ஒருத்தருக்கு செக் கொடுப்போம் அவன் யார் அவனுடைய ஆள் சொல்லிடுறேன் அவன் இன்கம் டேக்ஸில் ஃபைல் பண்ணி இன்கம் டேக்ஸ் ஃபைல் பண்ணுறான் டூஜியை விட இதை விட இதை விட பெரிய விட்டஸ் புரியலீங்க அவனை போய் பிடிச்சோம் அவன் பார்த்தா சார் இது வந்து கமிஷன் சார் இட் இஸ் அந்த இன்கம் டேக்ஸ் ஆக்ட் இட் இஸ் அட்மிசபிள் சார் ஸோ இட் இஸ் ஆடிட்டர் ஐ ஹவ் ஜோடிட் அவன் அவன் கண்ட்ரோல் இது பார்த்தாங்கன்னா அதில் இவன் வாங்குகிற பணத்தில் ஒரு டென் பர்சன்ட் வச்சுக்கிட்டு நைன்டி பர்சன்ட்டை அவனுடைய ஆஃபீஸனுடைய சன்னு மச்சானுக்கு நைன்டி பர்சன்ட் லோன் கொடுத்த வேண்டியது Now it has gone that the bribe money not uh, legally through legal tender but uh, illegally to that uh, officer's son. Do you know? Now I am going to say, what is the file book? What is the file book? Sir, don't go to the file book. I am going to say, what is the file book? Sir, I am going to say, what is the file book? Do you know? I am going to say, what is the file book? Do you know? I am going to say, what is the file book? I am going to say, what is the file book? I am going to say, what is the file book? my dear do not stand in the court of law because he is legally made a record of it sir sariyana kelvi that is exactly something that is happening with uh, kalangar tv abingiradhu ennudaiya karuthu that's what i wanted to come and say these are all humbug it is done under the banking regulation act the money has come legally and the money has come into the books of accounts and the money has gone back now the kalangar tv